Hey y'all, what's going on? Today is Friday, November the 11th, and that means today is Veterans Day. And so as a uh, former uh, soldier myself, I salute all of our men and uh, women who have served in the United States Armed Forces, Army, Navy, Coast Guard, Marines, Air Force, you name it. Uh, we, we pay tribute to each and every one of you, and we're grateful uh, for your service, and we're thankful for your service. And uh, to all of those uh, brothers and sisters that I had served alongside of for many, 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 many years ago, um, amen. Uh, I am grateful to each and every one of you if you're watching this video. I can't call the names because I don't have permission to say their names uh, on, here on YouTube. So I just want to say thank you. And I had some family members uh, that also have served in the United States uh, Armed Forces, and I and I really am grateful to um, uh, the family members, uh, to include my dad, who has served in the in the Armed Forces, and my sister, and my older brother, and some uncles, and and on and on and on. So thank God for each and every one of you. I didn't call any names; I just called the titles. Um, but I know that they will be happy um, to uh, have have known that they've been recognized. You know, um, this 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 day is uh, it started out as uh, Armistice, Armistice Day, um, and that was uh, to celebrate the peace and and the veterans who fought to make the world a, a safer place, a better place. And um, on the eleventh hour of the eleventh day of the eleventh month in nineteen eighteen, uh, World War One came to an end after uh, four four long, long and and brutal uh, years of of just battle and just war. And so a year later, um, America decided to uh, make this day, uh, November the 11th, uh, Armistice Day, and now we call it Veterans Day. Um, you know, this, uh, this Friday manna is also for the veterans of the household of faith, too. Um, you know, and, I, and I, I wanted to find something that I could also commemorate the veterans uh, in the spiritual warfare that have been um, certainly an impact in my life. And again, uh, with, with what I said about the, the uh, veterans that I don't have permission to use their names, um, but I know that there are so many giants in the faith that I, I could just call out that have been a, an impact to me. Some veteran Christian, Christian soldiers that I look up to and that I admire. Um, there's some deacons and some deaconesses and um, uh, there's some sisters and some brothers and some, some colleagues, some work folk. There's, there's some family folk and certainly my, my amazing wife who is a veteran of the faith. And, and there's so many to include my own pastor. And um, I, I am just grateful for them. And uh, here is something in Galatians chapter six, verse nine. It said, let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. And verse 10 says this right here. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are in the household of faith. Those brothers and sisters, those church members, those those warriors, those soldiers that have, have stood up for Christ time after time, that have stood up in, in, against social injustices, they are some giants in the faith. And I, I salute them too, uh, just as I would our military men and, and women. Um, why you ask? Because they have a job that is a spiritual job. And while uh, in wartime, we fight enemies that we can see uh, in most cases, whether they're on the ground in tanks or in the air in planes or on foot as soldiers, um, in the spiritual realm, we fight against an enemy that we can't see. Um, spiritual wickedness in high places and in low places. So we fight up against that, that enemy. And so those members that are of the household of faith, um, don't get weary in your well-doing. Continue to, to stay on that battlefield. Continue to, continue to fight the good fight of faith. And, and I am grateful for those veterans, those veteran soldiers that have stood up, um, those on the battlefield and those on the spiritual battlefield, um, in order to set a great example for all of us as we were coming up. And I wish I could just call some names, but I, I remember some some of the deacons, and uh, I just remember some of those sisters that that um, that that when you saw them, you knew that it was something special about them. You knew that they were a soldier, and and paying homage to some of those that were on their deathbeds. 
and still giving praise to God and still inspiring. I'll finish with this. Uh, there was a, a time when we went to go visit a, a, a sister. She was an elderly lady, my wife and I. And we went to the hospital because uh, we were told that she didn't have a long time to live. And she was probably probably within days uh, of, of transitioning from this world to the next. And I remember that we went to go see her and she was so sweet. She was so kind. And so I thought, <laughs> I thought that I was going to uh, give the closing prayer and just to, just to give her uh, some words of comfort because she knew she was on her way out. <laughs> and we got ready to go. And this, this little old lady, this frail sister, this veteran soldier reached out her arms and she grabbed us together. She said, let me pray for y'all children. And she went into prayer. She, as a soldier, went into prayer for us and there we were just weeping and and I was just crying and I was just just amazed that that I couldn't say anything um, because this sister, this this soldier, this veteran in the faith was still on the battlefield, even though she knew her earthly battle was going to be over. Hallelujah. And her 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 heavenly wings were going to take her home to be with the Lord to receive her reward. Amen. To receive her crown. And so I just want to say thank you again to our veterans who have served our country. Uh, and, and I also want to just, just let you know that there's some veteran soldiers that have served in the faith that also deserve to be recognized. So God bless you. I love you. Have a wonderful weekend and continue to be safe out there. And uh, salute, salute, salute. God bless. Take care.